obviously a strange day, first no breeze at all and then uh, breeze, easily breeze and swell. Can you talk us, like, Yeah. are you happy with your day? Yeah, we went out, uh, we knew it was, the breeze was coming at some stage, we didn't expect a, a, big, a quick build uh, like this. So we went out with the J1 just for, uh, for fun mainly because uh, there was no wind at all and then uh, when we dropped the J1, we went straight to the J4 because uh, we read uh, more over 18 knots already. So when we start setting up wind, uh, we, we have an average of uh, 18, uh, 19 knots. And uh, so we did a few takes up wind and then uh, we decided to better way to come close to shore uh, to try to find a little bit less swell. And uh, we did bear off over uh, in over 20 knots uh, and um, it was fine. but. Um, uh, with such a small boat when it's so wavy and, uh, and with this wind direction it's getting uh, bumpy pretty quickly, you know it's getting hard and, uh, and you know as well if you use you slow down too much, uh, you're gonna, uh, I mean, there is a chance you could flip over, which, which was uh, part of the game. We'd uh, ride the boat back uh, pretty quickly and we could, uh, we could uh, the plan was to keep sailing but then the, bri the breeze was uh, for uh, more than five minutes, over 21, 22 knots, and we decided to, to drop the sail, mainly for the wave and not for the wind. So we did a few checks uh, on the way back, and uh, we discovered with this state, uh, with this uh, sorry wind direction, we could sail a little bit closer to shore. So it's a lesson taken, uh, but it was good. I think we had a pretty solid week uh, after uh, the damage we had uh, to the to the mast and. Um, Every day you spend, every minute you spend in the water is a lesson taken. So, is there any damage today? No, no. We could, uh, we could, uh, we could uh, keep sailing, and uh, and again, that was the plan. But again, uh, I had a talk, uh, a chat with uh, with uh, Jimmy and Ruggi, and I asked them, uh, "What do you guys think?" We could sail, but the problem again, when uh, when uh, when it's so bumpy and you touch the the. The water, uh, if, you, if you just slow down, the first thing is uh, broaching and then uh, the problem of this boat, you cannot fall of enough in terms of speed that the, the board drop, you know, when you are at low speed and that is where the boat capsized, but I mean, it's fine. So regarding the crew, we've seen some days with six crews on board and four. Is that something you've been working on? Yeah, yeah. The, the, that was the plan since they want to go with more ballast, basically, and more writing moment. And uh, we're going to keep uh, playing that uh, until the end. And um, we're going to see the big guys as well to, to start jumping on board to, to get used to the speed because these boats are pretty fast. We reach the other day over 44 knots, and uh, so it's good fun. So, considering the conditions in Barcelona, would you say you've learned something? With well, obviously, as much time you spend in wavy condition, better it is for uh, the long-term uh, goal. But we know we are sailing in a small boat, so we know the limit of the boat, uh, the size of the boat is, uh, is pretty clear. So we know we can sail easily up to 0 0.7, 0 0.8 meters as well. Above that is... Uh, as a kind of uh, survival mode, but it's always uh, good. I mean, upwind is not a problem, it's mainly downwind, obviously, because you're going faster, you sail higher, and it's easier to, to lose the control, but, uh, but again, it's part of the game.